The law says employers must ensure an adequate supply of clean, fresh air in the workplace. There are two ways of maximizing the level of fresh air in a workspace, either by natural and or mechanical ventilation. Ventilation control measures are essential in improving air quality and staff well-being. This guidance will apply in most workplaces, helping you and your workers understand what is defined as poor air quality, how you can improve ventilation. What are the signs of poor indoor air quality? Symptoms related to poor workplace air quality vary depending on the type of contaminant. They can easily be mistaken for symptoms of other illnesses, such as allergies, stress, colds and influenza. The usual clue is that people feel ill or find it hard to concentrate while inside the building, and the symptoms go away shortly after leaving and when away from the building for a period of time. What potential pollutants need to be monitored? For indoor air quality checks to be comprehensive, there are a few potential elements and factors to bear in mind. Humidity, mold spores, formaldehyde, volatile organic compounds, particulates, dust, and a range of toxic gases should all be monitored to make a conclusive judgment as to whether air quality is an issue. What is the significance of CO2 levels? Carbon dioxide levels in fresh air are 450 parts per million. As we breathe, we generate excess carbon dioxide, which increases the overall concentration of this gas in the indoor environment. A poorly ventilated workplace with very little fresh air can easily see levels over 2,000 parts per million as the working day progresses. Good indoor air quality managed with an efficient ventilation system using the correct ratio of fresh to recirculated air should achieve carbon dioxide levels below 1,000 parts per million. How can I improve natural ventilation? You can improve natural ventilation by fully or partially opening windows, air vents and doors. Buildings are designed to provide adequate ventilation. Where this is through windows and air vents, you should be able to open them. If they cannot be opened whilst occupied, the ventilation in that area will be affected. Purging unoccupied rooms in between shifts or on breaks by fully opening all windows and doors can improve ventilation levels. How can I improve mechanical ventilation? Mechanical ventilation brings fresh air from outside into the building. These mechanical systems will provide adequate ventilation if they are set to maximize fresh air and minimize recirculation. You need to know how much fresh air it draws in and if this provides adequate ventilation. You may need to increase the rate or supplement with natural ventilation, opening doors, windows and air vents where possible. You can also consider extending the operating times of mechanical ventilation systems to before and after people use work areas. Air from one space to another should not be recirculated. Recirculation units for heating and cooling, air conditioners, typically do not draw in a supply of fresh air. They will usually need to be partnered with a supply of outdoor air, for example, windows and doors left open. What are the benefits of air cleaning and filtration units? You can use local air cleaning and filtration units to improve air quality, but you must be aware these devices have limited capabilities. The majority are based on particulate filtering and will only reduce dust levels and bioaerosols. Very few of these devices can reduce levels of formaldehyde, VOCs and carbon dioxide. 